One of the main problems that we see in modern life is that most of the things that we do tend to pull us forward or hunch us forward. So whether that's driving a car, sitting on a mobile phone, working at a desk, all of the things we do. And what this tends to do is tighten the muscles at the front of the body and stretch or switch on the muscles at the back of the body, which tend to pull us forward into this sort of position, which is known as upper cross syndrome, where the muscles at the front are tight yeah. and constricted, and the muscles at the back are actually switched off, which pulls us forward into this pool posture. Now this not only affects, as we've looked at, the organs, but it also affects how we feel. And if we're in this position, that can actually affect our mood yeah. and making us feel lousy, low in energy, tired. One of the things that we find classically pulls us forward is a mobile phone. So it puts us forward into this position, which also causes something called text neck syndrome. With text neck syndrome, what's important is again, when Chris adapts this position, you can see as the head leans forward, that changes this upright position of the spine into what we call the monocare. We're going to go into a little bit more in a, in a moment. However, as you can see just in this example of the skeleton where Chris is texting, that puts much more pressure on this area here, which is classed as the occipital and anterior joint. It classes the mid thoracic place, also the lower back and pelvic and hips, which tend to be the most common places in our clinics that people come in with problems and disorders. And also, whilst we're in this area, Chris just goes back to that position for me, you can see again what's doing to the neighbouring organs that live in this area. So it's not about what's just doing to the, the, the hard frame of the body or the musculature, it's also what's doing to the things that make you live well. And the head actually weighs around 12 to 15 pounds. If, again, if you're lucky, on average. So when you actually take the head forward into this poor posture, it actually increases the relative weight of the head and actually, as James said, takes us out of the three curves that we're going to look at more in detail, but places a lot of stress on the nerves, muscles and discs in the neck and also the muscles as well of the neck, which puts a lot of strain on this area, which can actually cause early onset arthritis in children as young as 10, 11, 12 because of the amount of time spent on mobile phones and it's actually changing the way that the cervical curve is actually positioned in the neck, which is not good at all. And what it actually says, when your head goes to 60 degrees forward on a phone, it actually changes the pressure to 60 pounds. Now, that's the equivalent of an average infant sat your shoulders. So for a child, actually on the phone, they're sitting with a friend, neighbouring on the shoulders. So it's quite important that we have that Im image in mind that you're walking around with a grandchild on the shoulder or an infant all day. Every time you answer a phone call, every, answer, every time you answer a text, and so one of the simple things for mobile phone posture is simply just raising the phone to a higher level so that the neck doesn't have to adopt this uh, downwards position. So you're raising the position of the head, raising the position of the phone and using the phone in this position as well just to take some pressure off the neck, pressure off the nerves and we're going to go into this in more, more detail and show you how you can use some of these little tips around everyday life to maintain good effortless posture of the body. And become a happy texter. <laughs>